Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, all right, we got an email here separating the art from the artist. When the artist would gladly see the industry burn. Um, I, I mean, you know, let me. I haven't read the mail yet, and we'll get to it. But I'm coming to this very cynical conclusion that uh, separating the art from the artist is probably helpful. It probably will make you feel better as a human being about what you do and what you read. And definitely, life will get a hell of a lot easier if you separate the art from the artist. But the only way to do that is you're going to have to just not be on social media. You're just going to have to kill it. Because if you're on social media, you're going to want to follow your your creators because your creators are putting out you know interesting stuff and they're posting things and like you're going to want to you're going to want to you know be a part of that. And you you can't. You know it's 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 poison. If you, uh, you know, if you go on social media, you're going to see your, your creators, you know, to draw really awesome pictures of superheroes. You're going to see them weighing in on their feelings on Israel and Palestine. And it's like, you know, what are you going to do? Like, you don't, you don't want to, no matter how you fall on that topic, you probably don't want to see this. You don't want to have that be, you know, you don't want to be looking at a picture of Thor one day. I mean, like... He does not do it. I mean, there's a handful of creators like Paul Smith and Walt Simonson, Bob Layton. These are creators you can follow on social media that will give you kind of zero, zero things beyond their art. And so they're nice, safe, you know, accounts to follow, which can be fun. But if you are, um, I mean, it just, the, the screwed up part is, you know, you're, you're, you want to just look at some comic art and so you're going to follow a creator who's going to spend the majority of time talking about, you know, crazy shit. And there's not a, there's not an escape from that. That's just what apparently you're going to get. So the way to separate the art from the artist is don't be on social media. Be blind to it. Just, just blissful unawareness. I, I don't, I don't know if there's a better answer there because if you do, you're just, you know, unfortunately, a high percentage chance that one of these creators is going to thoroughly disappoint you by posting something out out of out of their mind, and then you're going to think less, and then you're going to have a hard time liking it. You know, it just is what it is. It's like, oh, I, I like Art Adams. I like Art Adams. I like Art Adams. Art Adams, you know, is uh, advocating for school shootings. I mean, that's just so, there goes by YouTube monetization. He is not, by the way. He absolutely is not. It's unfair to Art. He's a good guy. But I mean, that's that's the thing. You like you like. Okay, well now, you know, whatever mental games you can play, there's like a Rubicon that gets fast, or it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to look at them the same way again. And it's it's done. All right. So let's read this mail and see if if uh, we get a different opinion. It says, "Hey Perch, as I type this, I just removed both of Mark Wade's books I had been reading from my pull list. There are a couple of my favorites, but I just can't buy them anymore." I've defended reading Wade's books, including in your comments section, if I recall right. Um, I don't think I've ever told people to stop buying Wade's books, by the way. Uh, generally, Wade's books are okay. I think Wade is is a crazy person at times, but, you know, the, the writing is good. It, it goes back to the, like, I'll give you two facts. You know, as a human being, he seems very, very flawed. As a comic writer, he writes some good stuff. And it, unless you are an absolute kind of liar... You know, he, uh, he is world's finest right now is doing well in terms of, you know, putting out stories and sales. So, you know, it, that's just a fact and doesn't change. It also doesn't change the, the thing that he is maybe a nutcase. Well, not maybe he clearly, it, it just, he seems, um, prone to passion. Is that the nice way to put it? Yeah. All right. It says, um, uh, even after what he did to Zach, once it had cooled off. But what broke me was his recent Twitter statement that I think a lot of us would just rather see the industry burn down than get together with the alt-right. I know I would. Sorry. That's an actual quote. I did a video on this, and yeah, that 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 statement sucks. Hard sucks. And if we're all being honest with each, each ourselves, and you know we don't like to do that, I know, as human beings, but if we're all honest with ourselves, um, a lot of people have said, burn the industry down. And like I said in the other video, that is a childish, pathetic, man, baby, girl, baby, fake geek girl, fake geek boy, cuck, whatever one, whatever word you want to use. 
That is a bullshit statement. If you find yourself going, I'd like to see everything burned down, you are, unless you're Seth, Seth Rollins, you are a child. All right, so we go back to it. It says, I've said before that there are people in the industry who would gladly watch it burn if it meant keeping out people they thought that they were better than. I always secretly hoped they were few in number. But to have an elder statesman say that point blank, it's pretty messed up. I always hate this statement, but in fairness, um, you know, Mark, this is an off-brand for Mark. Mark says a lot of crazy things. Does he actually believe it? Probably not. You know, or he, Mark will fly off the handle and say lots of crazy shit, but does he actually mean that? No. By the way, a lot of, you know, more than one person, several people mailed me saying, hey, you know, how do we talk Mark Millar off the ledge? He's posting a bunch of stuff. He's appealing to comics gates, really pissing a lot of people off. How do we talk Mark off the ledge? And um, I'm like, you know, I think I, I I don't know what to tell you. Like he he's allowed to say what he wants to say. So I mean, he, like you got he let it burn itself out. I mean, I, I like he's got to say what he's got to say. Maybe maybe you should just not get involved. Is kind of the crux of what I said. When Mark Wade wrote, uh, you know, burn it all down. Nobody mailed me saying, "Hey, how do we uh, how do we talk Mark off the ledge?" And to me, that's a that's a problem because I, I there were multiple people who say, "I wish Mark Millar would stop posting." Like, why doesn't he stop posting? But nobody texted me or mailed me to say, "I wish Mark Wade would stop posting." And that's that's the screwed up bit. Like, uh, it, it, you know, again, you may have radically different views of what these people are saying, and they're saying. Com- Completely different things, by the way. Millar is not saying burn the industry down. But regardless of whether you agree or disagree or any of that shit, can we just... I I want people to universally be even keel across the board about, you know, just because the person who's posting may be somebody you mostly agree with, it doesn't you know, we should we should try and get everybody who's saying crazy, stupid shit to stop saying it. And and by the way, I don't think Mark Blah was saying crazy, stupid shit. But it's it's weird to me. I I don't know. This is a complicated topic. This part, because I understand if you if you're feeling anxious or something is bothering you, you know, you want to reach out to a friend and say something. And uh, by the way, there's like, this is getting all obscure and I, I apologize for that. It's like, I'm, I'm probably talking like six people right now, um, who, you know, kind of understand where I'm coming from. What I mean by that is what I mean by all this is, is it, we should be stopping, you know, if, if we're trying to make peace in the industry, let's make peace universally, not make peace one direction. And that's not a call out. A lot of the people who mail me are genuine erstwhile and not a lot of them, all of them, they're good people who want to see good things happen. It's, it's true. I'm going to get out of the obscure stuff in a second. I, I, I this, tur- this turned weird for 95% of you. Um, you're all good people. I love you to death. And you, you work your ass off in this industry and you care. You do. I know you care. We've got to care universally. We have to. Please, you don't need to mail me kind of defending anything. I'm just... We've got to care universally about what's going on because a lot of a lot of this stuff is screwed up. So help each other out. Not just one side, both. Anyway, sorry, it said my piece. Now it's all super vague. Let's get back to this mail. It says, I'm not trying to coerce a statement out of you or get you to take a side. And by the way, let me dispel this myth. Some of my critics, many of which are critics because I have more subscribers than they do, and that is a God-honest truth. You know, there was a a, a kind of a live stream that, this is kind of bullshit, by the way. Somebody sent me a a recording of a conversation after a live stream had ended between some, eh, let's say, big YouTubers. One of which has way more subscribers than me. The rest did not. And the big topic of the conversation was, Zach says his perch guy is rich. What do you think? And why does he have more subs? And let me tell you, my my financial wealth is really nobody's business. And it doesn't matter to you at all. It shouldn't. And second, 
I don't give a shit about my subs. And if it's really causing you a lot of butt hurt and there was a way I could do it, I would happily give you half of my, you could, you could have half my subs. I don't fucking care. A good percentage of the people who have subbed to this channel do not watch the videos every day. They subscribed, I don't know, five years ago and have wandered off to do something else. I, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Okay, if that's what's making you butt hurt about me, please grow up. But a, one of the big criticisms about this channel is that I, quote, fence it or don't pick a side. And anybody who listens to this channel for any length of time knows I pick a side all the fucking time. You know, just because I have a nuanced point of view that is not a carbon copy of somebody else's playbook doesn't mean I don't pick a side. Mark Wade saying burn the industry down is fucking stupid. And I recorded that video several days ago. I have no idea when it will air. Uh, and it is. It just is. It's wrong that he said that. Full stop wrong. And if you've been buying his books and enjoying them, but you saw that statement and now you can't get out of your head, stop buying his books. Don't buy things that make you feel bad. Whoever it might be. It's just, just the truth. Anyway, um, back to the mail, it says, um, even if it's just typing into the void, I feel like I need to talk about finding an exception to my own stance of separating the art from the artist. Okay. Um, I guess an artist perpetuating heinous crimes would also do it. Huh? I guess an artist perpetuating heinous crimes would also do it. Okay, fine. But unlike the latter, there's a weird, almost uh, Kantian irrationality to the exception that I never anticipated. Because if a creator publicly tells you they would gladly tank the industry to get their own small-minded way, I'm not giving that guy my money. And it's probably the best for the art form in the long run. Anyway, thanks for your video and your time. Well, thanks for the mail. And uh, look, I, I did the video, obviously, so I agree. Um, I, I don't know. Look, I mean, the only thing I can say, if I was to take, if I was to be the defense attorney for this, not that it's a court case, is uh, Mark is, uh, you know, overly passionate, flies off the handle and says a lot of stuff that, and this is maybe the sad part about it, he clearly doesn't mean. Do I believe that Mark actually wants to see the entire industry, entire industry burn down if he doesn't get his way? No. No, I don't believe he does. I think that is a way, that's a attention-grabbing statement. It's like somebody going, God damn it, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm going to explode, start throwing punches. Well, the majority of people who say that don't actually start throwing punches, and a small handful of crazy people do. Um, I understand Mark has punched some walls, but but... It, this is a, this is all phony. And I guess to me, a lot of this rage, a lot of the internet hour, a lot of the bitching and the complaining and all the rest of this stuff at each other, it is phony. It's not real. It's just people crapping, they're trying to get attention. And that's what this is. You know, I, 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 I don't give a shit, you know, what he thinks one direction or another, but this is him trying to get attention. This is him yelling and screaming and kind of waving his arms around going, you know, I say this. But, you know, it, it's it's all, look, <laughs> the, the sad part about this is people were, like, if you're, if you're truly a believer to political ideology and all the rest, there's a lot of people at Marvel who work for Ike Perlmutter and they would certainly under the, their breath complain and bitch talk about what a tyranny is and a cheapskate and all the rest of that kind of stuff, but they still cashed his checks. And the reality is a lot of these people who bitch, whether for Marvel, DC or an independent, like, look, some of those comic companies you work for, the independent comic companies, the ones that aren't Marvel and DC and image, but the others, have you ever looked into who's paying the bills for your comic? Have you looked into the shareholders? Do you realize that, the vast majority of those companies are owned by quote unquote right wing people. Have you ever looked at some of the donors, some of the people who are the big investors into your company and looked at what they reported for their political donations? I will tell you the every major company that's not Marvel, DC, or Image, every single one has a large donor or several large donors that publicly gave a lot of money to Trump. So as you're on social media complaining about Trump and you're talking about you'd rather see the industry burn than all the rest, um, all that's nice. You're still cashing checks 
from people who voted for the quote-unquote enemy. Yar. And if it meant that much to you, you would you would stop. You would go form your own little comic company, you'd go try and do something else, or you'd just do something else in life. So when you say things like, I'd rather see the industry burn than to, to you know do work with these evil people, bitch, you are working with these evil people. In your view, you are. You have been. All the people at Marvel, you know, for, for all of the conversation, for all the woke Disney stuff, again, look into the major shareholders in these companies. Look. There's several of them that didn't just donate, but actively work for the GOP. I thought the GOP were the enemies. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying this is all bullshit. It is. This isn't real. I sorry to say. Um, I I think we all need to take a you know a pause and and look at what's going on here. Um, because we all get very wound up in what this person is saying, what that person is saying. By the way, to the person who wrote the letter, don't buy the comic. You know, this guy said something really stupid. It's stuck in your head. It bothers you on a moral level. You are absolutely doing 100% the right thing by saying, I'm not going to give money to this. It is your money. Say, for all the purchase of fit center bullshit that you hear, it is your cash. Only one person gets to decide how you spend your cash. You. And you do not need to feel guilty about that on any fucking level whatsoever. It's your cash. It's your money. It's your dollar. Do what you got to do. Whatever you do, do not spend money on things that uh, make you feel bad, make you feel like you're you know, sacrificing your principles. It's your cash. You worked for that. Only you get to decide where it goes. Only you. And anyone who tries to coerce you into some kind of weird clan or club or sect or, sect or a cause or anything else, you better be damn happy with that cause. Because if you're not, all you've done is let somebody else reach their hand into your pocket and spend your own cash for you. And don't let that happen. I don't give a shit what the cause is. Every single dollar that goes out of your hand should be something that you're proud of, that you like, that you're, you stand behind. If you could separate the art from the artist, cool. That is your call. I'm not going to stand here and tell you, or sit here, in this case, I'm in a car. If I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, don't buy Mark Wade's books. What a dick thing that would be for me to do. Only you get to make that call. Only you. You like the book, you buy it. You don't like the book, you don't like the artist, you don't like the way the artist spells his or her name. You don't have, you don't owe anybody a goddamn thing for how you spend your money. Period. This is not a far left SJW, anti SJW, all right, any of that, that, that has no ideology behind it. The, the pure and simple fact is only you decide how to spend your money. Period. And if anybody tries to make you feel bad about that or try to make you feel a certain way, that person is a con man, a grifter who is trying to tell you how to spend your money. Fuck those people. Comics, there's 600 odd comics a month being produced right now. Guaranteed, one of them will appeal to you. Take the effort, find that comic, if you love comics, and read it, and buy it, and give your money to that, whoever it is that's making it. And if you're a comic uh, person producing comics, publishing comics, creator working for comics, if you're going to go out and get on your high horse about who's right and who's wrong, then at the very least, my ask would be, don't be a hypocrite and say you hate this and you hate that and you'd rather see the industry burn here or there, or whatever it happens to be, while simultaneously taking money from people who you are you claim to be opposed to. Because if you do take the money from those people, then guess what? You sent a message that, hey, you have principles, but you, you, you know, they're not that strong. You still want to get paid. And again, that's your cause. That's your call. You can do whatever it is you want, but don't expect anybody to believe you. Don't expect anybody to stand up there and think that you're saying anything but blowing a lot of hot air 
When you talk about you'd rather see industry burn the work of these people while simultaneously cashing a check by somebody who you claim to hate. Sorry. Not sorry. That's a long video to say something very simple. And I, I appreciate the letter writer, not not picking on you. Um, the simple answer is just just your money is your money. Spend it where you trust and believe. The end. The end. Anything said after that is an unnecessary complication. Thanks for listening.